Okay, uh, good morning, uh, good afternoon, and also good evening, uh, depending on when you listen to this slide presentation. Um, my name is Victor, and I'm going to be your anchor for the training. I'm going to be sharing my screen. And um, in the previous uh, class, we looked at uh, how do we structure up your website, right? Um, we talked about software development life cycle, we talked about domain names, we talked about setting up emails, building websites with Bootstrap. I said I was going to send a guide with respect to encrypting your website. And uh, uh, by now, everyone, you should have a domain name or hosting account. I also walked through in the previous training how you can purchase a domain name, how you can set up a hosting account. I would say that out of the day, you should have a cPanel account, right? You should have a cPanel account. And when you have your cPanel account, you can log into your cPanel. I walked you through the cPanel where we talked about emails, creating email address, uploading files, and the rest. Okay, today in our schedule, we want to move uh, quite some step. So we want to uh, talk about how do we create a blog? Right, so the video is going to be uh, how to create a blog, and uh, if we have time, we'll talk about how we can set up an e commerce website. So, I'm going to be using the WordPress CMS to build up everything. Um, so, don't forget in the last class, we also uh, worked on if you check this website. The last class also looked at how do we set up a, 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 a construction page, a website coming soon page. So one of the first thing you want to do as a designer is when you start building, you could use Bootstrap. Bootstrap made um, coming soon template, right? All of us here could you can you can use Bootstrap. So you could you could look for a construction page, edit it upload to the C panel of the site through the file manager. With that, you have, look at this awesome, beautiful coming soon pages, right? I normally use this particular one. So with this, you could download, edit, change all of the text, the start, the, the, the countdown to the particular date where you, when you want to launch the website, right? So you can do all of this edit and upload on the website or if you are using WordPress, for instance, you have to first install WordPress. I explained in the previous video how to do that. Once you have installed WordPress, the next thing for you to do is to activate a coming soon plugin. Right? This is it. You could edit all of this text and have something very nice. So you could uh, you could use Bootstrap. Sorry, you could use WordPress. Once you've installed WordPress, you can activate that coming soon plugin. Once you activate that, you can now make all of these edits and your site is going to be covered. So what we want to do going forward now is see how can we set up a, uh, a blog and how can we set up a simple e-commerce website? How can we process payments? Okay, now I said in the last class that if you are to log into a website, this is cPanel, this is webmail, this is... Uh, uh, at the WordPress dashboard. This is for the WordPress dashboard, right? This is for the email. That's the URL for email. And this is the URL for cPanel, right? Slash cPanel, slash webmail, and also slash WP admin. So I will go to this link, which is just slash cPanel, right? Once I get to this link, what I want to do is that I want to log in. It's going to get me to this place. I want to log in. Once I log in, I will now be in my dashboard. Now, let me explain all of these items one after the other. So this is your hope. If you have updates, post, so if you want to create a blog, most of the things you're going to be doing here is going to be uh, posts. 
for instance, let's say we want to create a company blog. What we're going to be doing is that we're going to create categories first. Let's say this website is a news website. And that means we'll first create uh, a main category, which can be news. They will now go ahead and create politics, health, education, IT, whatever. So our taxonomy for our blog website is going to be like, it's going to be something like this. So for this, for this blog website, so we're creating a blog website, right? So the next thing we do is first, we uh, install WordPress, make sure we have WordPress installed. The next thing we do is uh, log in to dashboard. After we log into dashboard, the next thing we want to do is uh, install a block theme, right? Then uh, do our information architecture. Here we talk about taxonomy. You can read about this. Typically, all my categories, subcategories. If I have any, right? Then create posts into those categories. Customize the uh, the block theme. Then install additional plugins to make website better. That's all we launch. So this like the. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight. Uh, seven, eight process of building a blog. How to build a blog website using WordPress, right? So if I want to optimize the steps I'm going to use to build a WordPress website. So this is what it's going to be like. I install press, already have that installed through cPanel, through cPanel. Then log into dashboard, install a blog team. So what do you call it team? So team is under appearance. This is it here. Team is under appearance, right? I click on team. So there are different types of teams. So you have blog teams, hotel teams, uh, boutique teams, e-commerce team. Um, I click on add new. You have team for real estate. You have different sort of teams. So what I want to look is for I want to look it. I want to look for is a blog team. I want you to understand is that what a team does for you, just like when we are building building bootstrap, where we are we are building most things and we are coding stuff, doing some styling, do some HTML, adjusting some of the some of the style on our bootstrap website. In WordPress, what themes are going to do for you that are going to have a kind of a predefined look and feel. Right? That's the beauty about a team. So once you install a team, your website now looks in a particular way. So if you install this team, you can tweak your website to look as nice as this. If you install this team, you can tweak your website to be as nice as this, like that. So you could install your team live online here. So I could just search for blog team, right? I could just search for blog. So WordPress have thousands and thousands and thousands of teams. Look at, just in blog alone, you have 4,680. So the point is that you have some teams that, okay, expected error occurred. Okay, let me try again. So you have teams in their thousands, teams serving different purposes, right? So if I want my website to look like this, I could start, I could even preview to see what it looks like. Okay, okay, mega blog, great news. I love this one, it looks like something I like. Then you have free teams and you have premium teams. So depending on the type of project you are working on, if you are working on a, uh, a project that is enterprise level, you would want to get a, a premium team so that you have a more classic website. But if you are doing a side project, a personal project, a project that uh, uh, it's not enterprise, so to say, you can use a very free team and you're going to still build an amazing website. And the thing is that as you're starting up with WordPress, you might not be able to build so much of a classic website. The goal is to build a website, 
keep building websites. As you keep using WordPress, you now start getting perfect. You now start getting better. So you now you will not be able to use a free team to achieve very very good results. Just like a farmer, an experienced farmer, we don't need so much of tools, but we still have a great harvest. But an inexperienced farmer, a farmer that is just starting off, I think there's a there's a um, there's a the there's a theme called news fail. So let me see if I can get it. Okay, look at it. This is a nice one. This is a nice one. So this is news. So you could build amazing websites like this. I pray within 30 minutes you're able to pull this through. Okay, a news read news republic, um, call news, uh, news, um, edu news. Look at this nice one, Newsway. So if you are building a newspaper uh, blog or a music blog, all of those kind of stuff, right? You could use, you could build. Okay, let me use this news, news marks. Or can I have something better? Let me see, news fair. Let me go through Google and see if I, there's a nice thing. Okay, yes, I think that is it. I should be able to get it. News fair. This is it. It's a very nice thing you could use to build your WordPress website. You have news spin, as portion, and the rest. Okay, let me go with news fair. All you just need to do if you search out for the team you like, you just install. So this is installing live on your server. So after installing, the next thing we're going to do is activate. So I just clicked on activate. Now, so two things we've learned here. We've learned about teams. We've learned about plugins, we learned about posts. So three items. So post has to do with the items you are going to be publishing every day, every two days, every three days. So anything that is regular in terms of your, your, your update on your website, you normally handle that using post. For pages are those static content you have on your website, things like home, about, contact us, our services, advertise with us, all of those things that are static, they're not going to be changing from time to time. You could use pages to do that. So you say add new. Whereas for post, you could use post to achieve stuff that are going to be regularly updated. Then for appearance, I talked about teams that we can learn how to customize. Then for plugins, plugins are like I said yesterday, what is going to help us extend the functionality of our website. For instance, we just installed this team and it's giving us a notice that there's are some recommended plugins that this team needs. Things like AF Companion. Things like block fair, beautiful page building blocks, latest posts, posts, magic contact boss, WP post author. So I'll just go ahead and install them because these plugins will make the website better. I could install them one after the other, or I could tick, I could say block actions. I would tick on this whatever and say it, so it has highlighted everything. So I will apply. Once I apply it to install all of this plugin, right? Once that is done, did it happen? Let me go again. Okay, install. I need to select install. Once that happens, the next thing I will now do is to activate it. So for teams and for plugins, once you install, you must activate. So two things, teams, the overall look and feel of the websites, just like in Bootstrap, those templates. Then plugins, the extensions, what extends the functionality, what the website can do. For instance, if you want to collect payments in the payment plugin, if you want to install charts, you need a chat plugin, right? If you want to install, if you want to uh, do something like a slider, you need a slider plugin, right? So you have, like I said, thousands and thousands of plugins. So good enough, we've installed all of the plugins for that particular stuff. So let us go back and look at what our website looks like. I just view the website. So it will have the kind of look and feel, you see, you see the nice stuff that is happening. It will have the kind of look and feel of that theme, that news fair, that is this news fair. 
it will have a look and feel of the website. Awesome. You see, we've not even added any content, just our hello world, right? It has already styled most of the things waiting for our content, right? Waiting for our content. So all we need to do now is to create our categories. If we go by our order of um, learnings, install, we've done this, we've logged in, we've installed a block team, right? And associated plugins, if any, right? So if the website have any plugin that came with it, you install it. Later on, we'll go to learn how can we put some additional plugins to make our website better. For instance, somebody read, somebody finished reading a post on a blog. Let this hold the hello world. He clicks on it. He reads it. What is going to happen is that can we have something like share? So things like things like share. So social share. So you could share it on Facebook, Twitter. Once you just finish with it, you could comment. You could um, see related posts. We could have a, a WhatsApp chat on our website. You go to some website. Once you're on the website, you could tap a button, a WhatsApp button, and you could start chatting with somebody from the website. We could do a, uh, what again can we do? Uh, let's say donate button and several other additional plugins that we can have. We could, we could implement uh, our social media, social media handles. But let's take them one after the other. So after we've done step three, which is block team and associated plugin, which we've done, the next thing is information architecture, our categories. So let's assume we are building a, this, web, this, web, this uh, website for, a, a news website. So we're going to have politics. We're going to have uh, jobs. We're going to have um, healthcare. We're going to have technology. We're going to have telecoms. We're going to have, if you need to have idea, you could visit. Don't forget when we talked about it, see the, how your website can look like once you're done. Isn't this nice? So, one of the things we learned when we are learning the software development life cycle is that when you're building your website, one of the first things you want to do is research. You have to research and look at other persons doing the kind of thing you're doing so that you create something very unique and you have ideas, right? Even an expert will still have to do some brainstorming, research, gathering of content to go to decipher how it's going to approach, how it's going to go through uh what is most important what is least important what should it have what uh, what are the most haves and the rest so uh yes so telecoms okay let me just stop here so i'll create one two three four five categories once i create these five categories the next thing i want to do is start creating posts and post into these categories i create uh, Russia, Ukraine. I just made a call to a student doing cybersecurity PhD in uh, Russia. He left January. I was we're trying to do a call, uh, actually for a, a a a job we submitted to one of the ministries. We worked on it together. He's an next student learned sometime in 2017, but doing a PhD in cybersecurity. Now, politics. So he started explaining to me why you have the Russian, the Ukraine. You said a lot of things we discussed at length. So if I have such kind of content and I want to post it, it's all going to go into politics. If I have job vacancies, if I have uh, recruitment exercises, I post them into this place. If I had something on health, they are all going to go to this category so that somebody can click on this politics and see all the associated news with respect to politics. Okay, so first thing first, we create our categories. All we need to do is to go to post categories. Post, remember I said if you're building a blog, you, you create your categories, then tags are like your keywords. Tags are like your keywords. So you create category. So the, the thing you want to do is you want to 
start adding all of those categories. So the first one is politics. Slug is like, uh, a, a, uh, like also known as, right? That your SEO that can be used to help your SEO. Do I have a parent category? No. Or let me first create news, right? Right? Let it be the parent category so that all of these other ones are going to stay into it. Top and hot news uh, around the world. Right? So I will add this category. So this is going to be my parent category. So all other categories are going to be under it. So all these ones now become subcategory. Politics. Politics. Politics, want to know what's happening concerning governments around the world. Check up the site daily, right? Government, uh, government, Uh, can you help me correct that? Okay. So I add to category. Oh, I didn't indicate the parent category, right? So what do I need to do? I go to politics and I edit this category. You see, I could edit, I could delete it also. I just come here and edit and say, please, I want it to be under, under news, right? Once I do that, I update it. I go back to categories, go to categories. I create a new one, I call it health care. Health care, category, news. So I want so that with news, I could have access to every other thing. Telecoms, 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 VSAT, networking point to point connection isps and the rest oh i still forgot okay it's on that news good so one more last one um what did i have here created that's why planning is very important technology jobs job alerts and news about recruitment. Recruitment or recruitment, whichever. So I think I'm okay with this. So I have these categories. The next thing I want to do is now to go to all my posts. I could just go directly to add new. You see, I have a hello world. It's a sample post that comes with the website. I could delete it. So all I need to do is delete the post and I create fresh new post and post into those categories. So I'm trashing this. You see, it goes to trash, it's still there. So I could now delete permanently. Oh, it seems these plugins were not activated. So let me begin activating them. Book. Activate, because I think we didn't do that the last time. Okay, good. So I go to post now and I add a new post. So I have five categories. What I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get some images and start posting into this website, right? So the thing about a post is that it has a title, a description. So this is what we call the WC week, right? The WCWIC, week. So just like your Microsoft Word document, you could type, have image, align them left, align them right. Very straightforward. You see those categories? You cannot indicate the categories, and these are your keywords. And maybe sometime in ISO sec, we're going to introduce uh, some additional trends for us that are interested. You can indicate on the group. If you want to have uh, sales, traffic, digital marketing trainings, you can indicate we can have that sometime in April. If you want to have data science trainings, uh, big data, uh, AI, you can indicate in the group. If you want to have trainings in uh, core networking, Cisco certifications, you can indicate in the group. We're going to have those from April. Very hands-on, very practical training 
with your certificates, with your badges, especially for those that are Cisco-based certifications. So you see, uh, very, very straightforward. So the first post I want to make is about uh, government to provide 1,000 1, jobs for, for Kenyan citizens. Okay. So hello, we are just testing the microphone, right? I go get an image Kenyan government, right? I get an image. So this is it. I love this one. So opening a new tab. I go back to all. I want to copy this stuff. I want to copy this stuff. But it helped my content. Uh, okay, this is fine. I want to save this image. So, Kenya. So, you see, so I've added a title, a description. Next is it's under politics, right? Tax, Kenya. So, this is what. Kenya government, jobs in Kenya, and the rest. I could add, I separate by comma, I could add one after the other. Featured image. So this is the image you are going to be seeing. So I'll click on this. In my download, this is it. So once it uploads, set as featured image and I'm done. If I click on it, this particular link is live, right? If I view posts, so this is an active link. Now, the thing is that this website is under coming soon. So you, as a public visitor, you're not going to be able to see this particular site. Are you seeing it? Right? So if I click on just the home page, see, I can have my logo here and the rest. Are you there? So you see, by the time I add, 10, 15 more posts, right? I will have a far, far better side. And there are several customizations you could do to this. Let me add more posts. So let me add something on um, healthcare. Zimbabwe. Let me get Zimbabwe government. So this is going to be on healthcare. Healthcare. Is this a new president? Maybe. I may believe so. Open a new tab. I want to save that. I want to go back to all. So I want to copy these as my text. Just for the sake of the class. So this is closed. Okay, good. So I have this. I'm 
sorry if I didn't spell the Zimbabwe well. Zimba. Okay, so I go here, I add the featured image, right? Upload. Zim. So on and on and on. So for organizations, you have definitely will have more than one person that will need to have access to this website to be making all of these posts. Take for instance for a news website like CNN, Vanguard, Punch, Washington Post. All of these uh, newspapers on their website, you have more than one person making all of these posts. So once I'm done with this, I could publish. Are you there? So you, you have more than one person making all of these posts. If I go to the website and refresh, you see, exclusive. So all of the items that is being posted by all of those persons, they're all going to come to the website. So the cross of building a very nice blog is installing a team, creating your post categories, then creating your content. Are you there? So see the first article, look at the second article. Are you there? So I'm building a website already, right? So this is published. Now, there's something you need to take note of. Let me go to the dashboard. The question now is, what about, let me add it to, what about if you have users? A multiple posting, post, um, uh, what will I call this now? Post status. So I have draft, publish, and um, I think there's archive. Let me check. So you could edit, you could edit a status to be pending review draft. Draft pending review published. So published, then pending review. So if you have, for instance, we build this site, jdan.org, right? Journal Dietitian Association of Nigeria, right? So it's a journal site. So you have different persons different authors writing so you can write and you don't get to you don't you don't it, it doesn't go live automatically so somebody have to approve so if you are building such kind of okay i think it's org.ng if you are building such kind of website so you will need to have users so that's where that will that brings me to users all users and create different users for different level of tax on the website. So WordPress by default, which is a content management system, have I think about five, six, or even seven types of users. So you have an administrator, you have a subscriber, you have a customer, you have an editor, you have an author, you have, I think, yeah, about um, seven years. Types of WordPress users and their uh, maybe rules or functions, right? So you check that up. It is it administrator, editor, author, contributor, subscriber, super admin, right? I think there's a documentation on the WordPress website that gives the details about the different. Okay, I think there's. Is an updated article. So I will drop it here. So maybe you have it on the group. Um, users. Okay, so add it here. So my steps are becoming much. So let me organize it better. So two, three, sorry. 
<laughs> my first degree is mathematics, so I shouldn't be doing this. I should be able to count one, two, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, I have seven here. I have eight here. Good. And I have mine. Maybe I add 10. Rejoice and go to bed. <laughs> okay. Uh, so we're still in number six users and multiple postings. So if I have more than one person viewing the website, so is it administrator, editor, author, contributor, subscriber? There's still more. There's customer because when you start building an e-commerce website, there's customer. I think there's even store manager. The, the WordPress uh, platform is very, very robust. Very, very, you could scale it a, a, a great deal, especially if you are building from very basic to intermediate websites. Okay, see the functions, see what they can do, each of these roles. Author role, contributor role, subscriber role, super admin role, and the rest. So the question is, how do you create an additional user for this site? You just come here, once you're in your dashboard, you log in, go to users, you say users, and you create. I could call this Dulidas Limited. We call this Dulidas Limited underscore portal. Portal. That's the second guy. Email. I cannot use same email I used for this. So let me just use security. I think I use security, dolidaslimited.com. First name, I will use this, this, this. Generate password, right? You see the rules, right? So these are the default five rules that you have in WordPress. So if it's an administrator, the person can log in and do anything, delete any post, install teams, stop logins, create posts, do a lot of things on this website. The person is an editor, that means the person can edit the content of other persons that posted one or two items on the website. If it's an author, so you could have somebody as an author, the person can log into this. Once he logs in with his credentials, so many things here will be deactivated. So he will only be able to post content, edit his own content, cannot edit the content of others. Contributor cannot even start a post. He cannot make a post. Rather, he can, he can add to what is already existing. Of course, a subscriber is like a public person that will just subscribe to the website. If he has his name and password, what will happen is that he can only see uh, content that has been posted. These are the five defaults. So once you install an e-commerce plugin, what will happen is that you're able to now have customer and the rest. Who will do that? Maybe in another video series. So I will add, if I say as an author, let me just say contributor, for instance. Let me copy this. This is the username. Uh, and this is the password. It's very long. Right? So this is for a this is for a contributor. Okay. Contribute is good. So add this new user. So once you add this in the list of users, you're not going to have a second user. So for instance, the attempts I've concerned for news agencies and websites that have lots and lots of content, where somebody is posting from one country, another person is posting from another state, somebody is editing that, that content, is seeking approval. So once you're making the post, you don't publish it straight, you just put it on draft. Go to the status and indicate draft. So somebody else have to look at it. If it's okay before they now push it because once you publish it goes live so all the users you can have them see their roles right so that's how to create a website a wordpress website with multiple users you can research more on these rules and what they can do and what they cannot do there are even some plugins that can help you extend 
what each type of account, each type of rule can actually do or not do. Okay, so let's try it on. So we, we've been able to install WordPress, log into dashboard, install the block team, create categories, create posts. So I could as well go on to post more posts, but I'll just leave that. Same thing, everybody here, make sure you have a website domain name, make sure you have a hosting account. If you don't have one or don't know how to get about buying one, of course, like I said, the, uh, the first class, you could buy from any host. If you want to buy from South Tech Hosting, you can inbox me, we can set up an account for each other that you can write down with these labs, right? It costs you between 10 to 15,000 to get an account that's going to last for you for let's say one year, right? With that, you can put as much as four or five projects. You can have a smaller plan that is roughly, let's say eight, 9,000, right? That can host, let's say two websites or so. So with that, you want to build your portfolio and have that for the next one year, you renew with the same amount. So the benefit is going to grant you it's quite much compared and it's going to help you to practicalize most of these things, right? So I would as well go on to keep making posts, right? But I won't do that. So while you're working on your project, you could use the same theme for your blog and create the categories and post as many posts as possible. You can even just go to a website and duplicate all of their posts for learning purposes. You could put credits. You don't want to plagiarize. You could put credits at the end of the content that I say from social so website. It's for learning purpose, right? You want to build a complete website that is a blog website and say, okay, yes, I have a portfolio and this is the WordPress website. Okay. So the next thing we want to do item seven is customize our blog theme. Now, I cannot exhaust all of the customization I can do for this particular website, even in two hours. But one thing you need to know is that we're using news fair theme tutorial, right? So everything, every plugin always have a documentation. That's one thing you should be, you should always understand. Everything, every plugin have a documentation. Now, some of these themes are free, some are paid, right? Like the news fair is free, it, but it has a premium version. That's to say that you could use it, and, but it, it also have a documentation. Your documentation, most of the times you could see it in, a, let's say, Bootstrap, uh, um, YouTube. You could see it on the website. You could see it with, on the website of the owners, like this one and documentation. If you open this, it will tell you how to use the thing. They tell you different features of a team, especially for those ones that, are, that have a premium version. This to enable you test out the free version so that if you need to pay for something premium, then most of the time those teams uh, hover around um, 30, $40 to about at times 60, 80, right? Okay, so still loading. So, but there's some very basic customization you could do in which is customize, right? You go to customize the widgets, the menu, the header, the background image, if you want to change that, but you could just go to customize and you can start up from there. See the kind of classic website you could build. Are you seeing? So if you are new to WordPress, please read the WordPress documentation first. Are you seeing there? Post pages, administrative panels. Are you seeing? If you want to install recommended plugins, import dummy data. So I think this is a very short video of news fair. How to set up your home page. Is, is that something you want to rush? Take your time. Within two days, you could build a standard WordPress website. Are you seeing? Short step-by-step uh, -step tutorial, team option, especially if you're using the premium version. But even if you're using the free version, there are quite a lot of things that you can do. Are you seeing? I'm telling you how to do this. All right, so a, a blog is a blog because it has content, regularly updated content. So if you want to enjoy what we just built, post, let's say, have 
10 categories and post 10 contents into those 10 categories. That is 50 posts. You could do that in just 40 minutes and you're going to have an amazing website, right? So you now regularly will update most of those, uh, update most of those categories. But that's about documentation. So you, uh, you want to make sure that you check the theme documentation. Even plugins have the documentation. You want to check up that so that you can now advance the content of your website. For instance, I clicked on customize. It said site identity. It said logo. Do I have a logo? This website have a logo. Let's assume the logo is this, right? Right? I'm going to have it here. Now, you see there's a description. This guy, do I need it? No, I remove it. See the tagline? I remove it, right? I take that off. Okay, I think I should have that because of my SEO, but I should indicate that it shouldn't be displayed. In case it shouldn't be displayed. Site title. Okay, site icon. I think that is this one here, this one here, this one here. So they give, they're recommending to you to upload at least 512 by 512. So I've su I successfully updated this logo. Next thing is colors. So identity, what background color do I want? I could hover. I think in one of the classes I showed you how to do uh, I see the, the, the background color. You don't want something shouty, uh, right? Depending on your brand brand colors on the rest, you want something very moderate. I will go for something, something whitish, right? So, so something of this nature, right? Something dark, right? Or something bright. That, that, that's, Okay, good. So I like this. So colors, I go back. Header image. So do I have an image I want to publish here? So it's 1900 times 600 pixel. So I'll add a, an image. Let me see. I want to add this, right? Select. So this is the recommended size. I balance it up. I crop. So I'm sure it's going to come somewhere here. Awesome. So that's my back banner. So if you're not a graphic designer, you should give someone that does graphics. So it's going to do something that is just that's going to stay on top of this place. Preferably, if you like it, you can skip uploading this logo so that this banner is going to also come with the logo. So you don't have this kind of uh, duplicates, right? Um, you see, disable image tint overlay. Let me see. Okay, I think that tint overlay, like tinted, just like uh, you have in cars. So it has a nice uh, effect. So I'll go back, I'll go to background image, I'll go to menus, I'll talk about menus later on when we do e-commerce site. I'll go to home page settings, they say your latest page or your static page. I'll talk about that when we do e-commerce. Team options. I see in preloader option. Do I want preloader? Is that guy that rules, right? So I don't want I, cost, I don't want it so that once I load my website, it just opens global settings, right? So is there anything here I need? Header options. Show date on top header, yes. Show social media on top header, yes, but they're not showing yet. So let me see if there's any place for me to add the date. Sidebar settings, sticky. Date and auto, yes. Hide date and auto list, no. I don't want to hide it. So in the... You see this minute read count? Right, is activated. That's uh, this one. When you how recent the content is, right? If you don't want it, so everything will come with its own customization. Date and author. Uh, 
hide it and other, other this no don't hide it archive settings footer all right reserved that is this guy here all right reserved so i can see developed by Saltec. so uh if i have time i will show you later on how to remove this but you have to do that from php from the core team right i'll publish right these are some of the basic customization we can do for the site i also upload an uh, additional material when it comes to designing a web a blog so the next thing is additional plugins to make the website better so we go to our dashboard again i'll close this up so we mentioned social share comments see related WhatsApp, donate button, social media handles. So we could go to plugins. Like I said, there are thousands and thousands of plugins. So we just want to pick a few plugins and install. I will add new. So by the time you click add new, you see that plugin extend and expand the functionality of WordPress. So I could just say share, social share right so if i install any of this plugin maybe this one or which of them so you could try as many you could try them deactivate them okay i love this one out to any is it is a very it has been there for more than i think more than less seven eight nine years they've been there so you could you could after reading the post so you see the post I have here now. See the website I have now, right? See the website I have, and let's say I want to read about this stuff. What's going to happen is that I can now share it directly from me, maybe to WhatsApp, to Facebook, after reading that particular post, right? Has it come up? Okay, yes, look at it. So I could share, I could tap WhatsApp, I could share straight. If I click on WhatsApp, it's going to open up my WhatsApp, whatever. If I'm on mobile, automatically I can share right on. Are you seeing the link? Right? Facebook, if I tap on it, it took my Facebook straight on and I could share. So anybody that is logged in already on Facebook, you can just post it on this wall or send it to somebody. That's one plugin. Another plugin we can look at is um, related posts, right? At times you go to some website, you finish reading a particular post, you see that they have other posts that are related to, uh, look at it, related stories, right? Other things that are related to that particular thing you just read, especially if they're in the same category. So related. Now, one thing you could do is you could say top 20 WordPress plugins. Plugins for a blog. That's all. So they could, you could see suggestions of, you see, 20 plugins that you can use and customize on your blog so that your blog comes to standard. So you could take, like I said earlier, on two, three days and you install your team create your categories, post your, make your post, then keep doing your customization, researching for nice plugins that you can implement on your website, you can activate to make the blog better. If it's an e-commerce, same thing, plugins that you use for the e-commerce website to make it better. Once you're done with that, it then means that for a blog, for instance, all that is left for you is just to be updating the website once with content, once the website is now live. I love this one. I've used it for so many years. Yet another related post. So any post that is within the same category as what the reader is reading, of course, is going to come up. And of course, we can add WhatsApp. For instance, if you want people to chat with you directly via WhatsApp, we'll add just that one more and we'll be done.
WhatsApp, Chat. So, what I'm used to. I think you could do is you could check the by popular, right? Or the most active. Uh... Oh, no, 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 no. Let me go with WhatsApp. So this is 50,000, 68, 300,000, 112 reviews two weeks ago. This is 100,000, 100,000 social charts, but I just need only WhatsApp. So I will go with this, click to chat. Activate. Okay, so let's test it. We should see it somewhere. The WhatsApp something somewhere on our website. Okay, good. Look at it here. So you could tap. Look at it here. You could tap, and normally you're able to see. Uh, the, look at it. Click to chat. You're able to see it. Like I told you last time, once you start any plugin. You see the uh, plugin most of the times updated here, right? So if you click here, you can actually have to customize or how to set it. You could set what position you want. Uh, you see, it's, it's saying admin notice, no WhatsApp number added. So normally I have to come here and add the country code and add the WhatsApp number. So if I say 234, it's sorry, it's 034230, right? That's all right. Call to action WhatsApp, WhatsApp us. Okay, so you could customize most of all of these stuffs and you save changes. Once you do that, what will happen is that if I refresh, somebody's on website, he can instantly and directly chat with you. If I tap on this now. I should, and don't forget, there are several plugins that can make this website far, far, far better. If I tap on this, she's taking me to WhatsApp web, right? If I tap, it's just continue chatting. If I'm on mobile, automatically I can start chatting with the website owner. Just with a single, single click of installing WhatsApp web. So that brings me to the end of creating a simple WordPress blog, right? from your C panel. Okay, that'll be all for this training. If you have questions, please don't forget to ask. Make sure you get to domain name and hosting and start practicalizing most of these things. Thank you very much.